Here's today read aloud, Clifford and Company, Clifford and Itchy Day. I'd like you to meet a dog, Clifford. In case you've never met, Clifford's the sort of a creature that most people never forget. As you see, Clifford's perfectly happy. His red tail is wagging away, but he was a dog in a dither, and that was just yesterday. Have you ever had poison ivy? Have mosquitoes buzzed right through your skin? Then you know how it feels to be itchy and what you do when those itches begin. And uh, yeah, that's what it says. And maybe your mom says, don't scratch, dear. And maybe your dad says too. But oh, when an itch gets to itching, scratch is what you want to do. Something had given poor Clifford a troublesome, itchy patch. Like you and like me and like anyone else, Clifford started to scratch. Whatever Clifford has or does, it's never ever small. Clifford scratched his patch on a tree. The apples began to fall. Some bounced off the librarian and Samuel who was passing by. They saw what Clifford was doing they guessed the reason why. Clifford had to scratch that patch. His itch would not be quiet. Clifford saw a traffic light. His itch said, try it, try it. While Clifford rubbed his itchy spot, traffic was tied up in a knot. Go Clifford, move! If you have a dog, cat, or gerbil, and that pet is acting upset, you'll want an expert opinion. You'll get that pet a vet. My dad said if Clifford keeps scratching, we'll have the vet check him out. Maybe he has an infection or it's nothing to worry about. Now, who knows exactly what dogs think or what they discuss? Do Clifford and his dog friends talk just like us? What's a vet? Do you know? I think I might have to go. Don't go to the vet. Whatever you do, vets hurt dogs. I'm sure that's true. I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't go. Perhaps that made Clifford pretend. His itch was at last at an end. He tried to hide his problem from me by rolling and rubbing when I couldn't see. But the itching was driving him out of his skin and he rolled and he rubbed and he tried to scratch that simply unbearable itchy patch. He ran down the beach and saw the dock. He started to scratch. It started to rock. The boats began to bob and bounce as if they didn't weigh an ounce. But Clifford was in paradise. To scratch, scratch, scratch felt oh so nice. The waves began to roll and rise. The tide grew high before our eyes. Luckily, my dad and I were there to stop the big red guy. Come on, Clifford. I bet you know whom we need to see, where we need to go. Clifford's patch might be itchy yet, but now he's fine thanks to the vet. The vet mixed cream and it felt nice. 
Sometimes good friends give bad advice. Clifford was scared, but in the end, he learned that the vet is a dog's friend. So remember, if you're not feeling well, a grown-up you trust is who to tell. Don't say, I'm fine, if you are sick. Don't try to play a Clifford trick. The end. Again, that was Clifford, the Big Red Dog, an itchy day.